I have $64 million and 400,000 experience in American Truck Simulator. Today I'm showing you exactly how you can also get however much you want. So the first thing you need is a program called Cheat Engine. You can download it on CheatEngine.org, their official website. I'll link this down in the description for you. As you can see, I can just click on this green download button right here. It's hard to miss that. And there we go, the download is started. Now as you can see my downloads, I have Cheat Engine. So I can double click on that and the installer is going to open up. There we go. You can select your language if you wish to change that. And here's the installer. We can now click on next and here we'll get some advertisements. Make sure you click on skip all over here and then it's going to automatically start downloading. Then once that's happened, you can click on finish. Make sure you have this ticked. That way it's actually going to automatically start up for us. Great. This is exactly what we want and this is what we are going to use. Great. This is exactly what we want and we're going to use this to get infinite money and experience. Next thing that you want to do is load up American Truck Simulator and what I actually recommend is to make a new account. Why would you make a new well profile? Well that's because once you have infinite money you can buy everything anyways and your progress wouldn't really matter. Also I don't recommend ruining your account that you already have put pro into. So usually what I have is a profile in which I cheat on, um, which I've mainly used for multiplayer. That way I can play multiplayer and don't have to worry about getting crashed into um, and paying the damages and a regular account in which I just play normally. Anyways, we can do that by going into manage profiles over here, then click on this new profile button and then there we go. So there we are, set this up however you wish to do so, and then click on create over here. Then we want to continue into that account. I can just skip the wizard for now, you can set that up if you wish to do so. Alright, so here we are, and we're actually going to start off with the money. So, um, well, once you create the new account, you'll automatically get put into a job. You just want to escape out of that for right now and you want to look at your money if you've just created a new account the amount of money you have is going to be 1500 so that's great make sure you still have cheat engine open and then press on the alt and tab button at the same time this way you can move over to cheat engine it's very important that you make sure that american truck simulator stays running in the background so right over here, we can click on this highlighted button right over there. And then in this list, you want to select Air American Truck Simulator. It's not going to be there if it's not actually open. You want to click on this open button. Great. So in this value box that you can see over here, you want to type in the amount of money that you have. Exactly. So I'm going to type in 1,500 because that's the amount of money I have. Then I can click on first scan and as you can see it's found 367. If we were to do something now the game would crash. So what we need to do next is basically change the amount of money you have. This can be done by completing the job that the game gives you. This should be pretty easy because it's always you know a pretty short one the first one you get. Or alternatively, you could, for example, crash your truck or crash into an AI vehicle, complete, you know, run through a red light. Just make sure that the amount of money you have changes. So I've now completed the job. Great. I can click on continue over here and now we'll be able to look at my new money. Once we skip through this area here. Now before we continue, there is one thing we need to watch out for and that is negative money. If you have less than zero dollars or whatever currency you want in your bank account, it's not going to work so then i recommend that you either create a new account or complete a few jobs to get your money into the positives anyways i have 2311 i'm going to remember that go over to cheat engine 
in this value box, I'm going to type 2,311, just like that. And very important, click on Next Scan, so this second button here. Once we've clicked on that, as you can see, we're left with just one value. You might be left with maybe more than one. If you're left with zero, you did it incorrectly, right? If you're left with maybe zero to 10, then you're good. If you have more than 10 things here, then you need to do what I just did again, because it's not good, right? So I did that a bit quickly there. You wanna click on um, whatever the things are here. If there's multiple, select them all. Then press on this red arrow here to take them down there, right? Um, now I have two of them. There we go, now I have one. You see this value over here? Double click on that. And then what do we wanna change this value to? Well, I'm gonna give myself maybe, let's go 64 million, right? Now, don't start giving yourself billions because that's not gonna work and, sh and that's just gonna break the game. Remember, if you run out of money, you can always do this again. But, you know, if I were to add another three zeros to this, the game would just crash. So I'm gonna keep it like this, click on OK, and then let's go back to American Truck Simulator. The money hasn't changed yet, and that's because we'll just exit to the launch pad, click on yes. Then, now we're in the launch pad, we can go to continue the game, and now, as you can see, we have 64 million in the bank. That is fantastic. So now we can repeat this process for our experience. Now, for the experience, it's very important that you have more than zero when starting off. Zero does not work, okay? You need more than zero to start off with. As you can see, I have 107. That's perfect. So we can Alt-Tab back to this cheat engine area over here, making sure that American Truck Simulator is still open in the background. Type in 107, because that's how much experience I have, and then click on New Scan. Very important that you click on New Scan. And then, once you still have 107 in here, click on First Scan right over there. As you can see, it's now found 3,186 things with 107. Well, then we're going to need to go back into trucks into American Truck Simulator and change the amount of experience we have. How do we do that? Well, by completing probably just a quick job. What I recommend for this is to sort it right here. So now we have the ones with the shortest route length. As you can see, this is the shortest route I can take, so I'll take that one. Fantastic, I've completed the job and now I have a different amount of experience. Um, who cares? No, I don't, okay, there we go. I now have 304 experience. That's great, so now let's use Alt-Tab to go over to Cheat Engine. There we are, great. So now in this value box, oh, how much XP did I have? 304, okay, cool, so I can type in 304 over here. Then what I can do is click on next scan. Then there we go. I have two things that are now 304. That's perfect. So I can select both of those and then click on this red arrow. Also, if you still have the one from the money there, delete that. There we go. Now that we have both of those, I'm going to make sure that they're that they're both selected, there we go. You can do that by clicking on one of them, then holding down control and clicking on the other one. If you have multiple, click on the top one, then hold down shift and control and click on the bottom one, then they'll all get selected. Anyways, you wanna then double click on this value box over here and what do we want to change this value to? How much experience do you want? Let's go 400,000. 
there we are with experience don't put it into the millions because that way you're just gonna have way too much i believe 400,000 should be enough to unlock anything um experience is a bit harder because the game crashes more quickly um so you know try to not be too greedy in terms of experience and you can click on okay over here and then go back into american truck simulator go back to the launch pad you can just click on yes over here and then now as you can see the like the video which you should definitely do account is level 70 which is great so we can go back into the account here and now what you can see is we have 400,000 experience and 64 million which you know should probably be enough and remember as I said you can always repeat this process if you do want to do so if you have any questions or stuff like that, then feel free to leave those down in the um, comment section down below. But, you know, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.